So, I mean, hello everyone. So I'm Gorkam Jankishlova. So, I mean, there is no reason to waste of time. So I just want you to pay attention to the, wow. the subtitle of the presentation. So the testing and discussion ethnographic variants of the bipolar technique because it was never done before. So, I mean, let's start it. So the cases, uh, the firstly, when we started to the experiment in, we presented the first results in the, uh, the bipolar technique symposium in Genoa in 2022 on the 3rd of March. So the mainly we focused on the, I mean, the quartz, quartzite and limestone detached mechanics. So the, and then the hammerstone manipulation. So the, after that, uh, mainly archeological interpretation, of course. So after that, now we, I just, I was planning to start to compare with the freehand and the bipolar uh, reduction, but I mean, okay. So the, uh, I want to test the, uh, the ethnographic variants of the bipolar reduction. So the, now exactly this, these experiments, I mean, the focusing on the ethnographic variants of the bipolar reduction. So, but the briefly, let me introduce the site. It's a very brief way. So it's an MIS-11 site, and then the, there are 10 archeological levels. And then the almost all archeological levels presents the extremely, uh, almost 90, 95% uh, entirely prefitted raw material units. Only there's one negativity. So the faunal remains extremely poorly preserved, so. And then in terms of the ethnography of the bipolar reduction, so that, I mean, there is no specific clear distribution in the world. So that, I mean, it can be seen in all over the world, but I mean, the, here, the cases in uh, the issue, the case of the North America in the British Columbia. So that I'm just going to explain at the end of the presentation. I mean, the, what is the difference between the British Columbia and then the rest of the ethnographic variants of the world. So. As you can see, you can see in all over the world, the South America, the Cheta people, so the South Africa, and then the South Asia, they completo and the Dunkar shepherds, they use the bipolar technique. And then the East Africa, the studies of the um, Catherine Whitman Arthur, so the, and then of course the Oceania. But the best example of the Oceania is coming from the New Guinea Island, the part of the Papua New Guinea. So then I mean, the studies of the John Peter White documented extremely uh, detailed study in terms of the bipolar application in the film of the axis and array, and then the different variants of the bipolar. Plus, um, the studies of the Karen Hardy, Marilyn Citratin, uh, Karen Hardy, Marilyn Citratin, Paul Silito, and then the, those, most of the old studies documented, uh, made, an, an, made an ethnographic analysis in the, the, highland, the highland of the Papua New Guinea. So, and then there are similar different var variants, so the, which is not known so well. So the studies of the Ole Christensen also, he documented the presence, I mean, the presence of the bipolar reduction from the different perspective. I mean, there was a different variance of the reduction on the soft anvil and leaf wrapping variant on the anvil. So, and of course we tested the so many variants during this experiment of the bipolar uh, technique from the ethnographic perspective, the bark wrapping variant was one of them. So what we have done, how we have done. So, I mean, the cases here, uh, as you can see, here is the, um, the site of Lacan Sarreta, and then the, here is the experimental raw material procurement area, and then the Francoli River is following here, so the, here is the final destination of the Francoli. We collected and we napped exactly the 45 pebbles, quartzite pebbles, and then we used the organic materials, of course, for the uh, variants of the bipolar reduction, so, I mean, we used, I mean, the bark application, the Celsius Australis, and then for the leaf application, we use the yucca aloe folia. So for the soft anvil application, we used a block of Quercus elex. So, of course, uh, strictly we conducted a very systematic and well-organized experiment. Actually, we, uh, we did our best. So, I mean, the almost, not almost, so the, all the debris was coordinated according to the special analysis. Uh, and after that, we use the two cameras. First one is for the raw video recording, and then the other one is for the slow motion video recording for the future analysis of the study. And then some selected samples um, were examined under the Hyrex microscope and also with the scanning electron microscope. However, the scanning electron microscope, I mean, the cases here, uh, it is just a kind of my personal curiosity. I just wanted to see a little bit closer the, uh, the residue and then I just wanted to learn it. And then we just wanted to create a, some kind of very, very a small first reference collection in terms of to, to compare with the archeological materials in the future. So the results. I mean, the bipolar on soft anvil, so the, unfortunately in terms of splitting a pebble, well, does not work very well because the, I mean, 
the soft embryo, the wood, all absorbs the, all the main impact and then it doesn't reflect it back. So the, at the end, what we can see is in a usual case, so I mean the highly re uh, residue of the Quercus elex and after that, extremely bashed striking platform because I mean the, the main impact goes, but it never comes back. So the, at this, uh, this is not the principles of the bipolar, exactly the true bipolar, something comes back from the embryo. The other one, stepped core into the ground. Well, personally, it is a little bit controversial. And then the, I can discuss hours and hours and hours. Is it really the variance of the bipolar or the variance of the uh, reduction on the ground? But I mean, it was evaluated the studies of the John Peter White under the bipolar umbrella. So I just wanted to test it. It was because it was enjoyable. It, and it was interesting. Unfortunately, the results is not, not so well. So the, because the cases, when you bury it, I mean, the, after each impact, the pebble or the blank is buried into the ground deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. I mean, there's a very big dislocation, disorientation. After 49, blow, 49 blows, we obtain the two flakes. However, so I mean, the, personally, um, it is not like what I expected when I read the papers of the Thomas Miller or the, uh, the Michael Sharp. The other one, well, my favorite one. So I mean, the relief wrapping variant. So, the strategy actually is so um, basic. So, I mean, wrap the core, flake the core, unwrap the core, choose the one of them, use it, discard it, or continue to flake it. It's up to you, it's up to the napper, it's, it's up to what you need. And of course, the cases, I'm repeating, this is not the aim of this, uh, the clear aim of the study, just for the basic uh, small documentation. And then the, um, in the impact point, impact area, so I mean the residue of the UCAL, uh, yes, the, no, South Australis. And then the, of course, under the same is the high percentage of the carbon. And after that, um, yes, the other one is the yucca alufolia. In the first time I was expecting to see, so the, maybe we can see some kind of the linear bond traces. However, we just documented some small particles of the yucca and then 27%. The carbon. So the cases, interesting thing is starts now actually. This pebble was flaked vertically. However, there are lateral fractures. What was the cases? The case is the mechanic of the bipolar plus wrapping by bark or by leaf. I mean, there is a strong stress on the pebble, and then the pieces wants to wants to fly, wants to move. However, the bark or the leaf restrict the area. And then it's because of this restriction, there's a friction. After this friction, and then the, when we unwrap it, I mean, some pieces detached and then detached one more time. There are unintentionally, we have corona flakes. So there are, uh, we have, I mean, we observe the, the flakes with double ventral surfaces, triple percussion bulb, which is, I've never, and it's so interesting. And then the, most of the flakes shows extremely pseudo marginal retouches here. I mean, not intentional retouch, sort of a pseudo marginal retouch. And then the, because of the friction and then the plus presence of the bark. So, I mean, clearly the bark, the presence of the bark, uh, it affects the technological indicators actually. And then in a summary, so I mean, the almost all the course, almost all the course shows the bipolar scars. This ratio is totally reversed on the flakes because, I mean, if the main, I mean, if the active impact and then the passive impact does not clash, so I mean, uh, it's the detachment can come from the hammerstone contact or can come from the anvil contact. So the at the end, it's very indistingu indistinguishable. So is it really bipolar or is it really freehand? So the and this ratio is totally reversed on the flakes. Well, I'm. Continue and then probably I'm going to finalize after four slides. Probably, I mean the cases I had to do that because in the bipolar technique symposium is a kind of the personal responsibility for my study. So I mean not for the responsibility for the rest of the people. The cases, I mean uh, I've been asked a question in terms of the uh, the lemon slice flakes or the orange segments, etc. Is there any kind of uh, example in the site? I don't remember exactly what was the question specifically, but the in terms of the presence of the orange segments and lemon slice, I was asked, so the, I mean, yes, let's say so that there are orange segments, but the, this is not the technological indicators of the Lacan Saladetta, so that this is the technological indicator of the 
I mean, compassion control propagation, like uh, Brian Cotterell and then Johan Kaminga say. So it can be seen in New York by thousand, the Neolithic, Middle Neolithic, the Norway, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia. Yes, this lemon slice term, it was documented first here. I mean, the rest of the people say the orange segments and then the Menes Regan. And then I'm so sorry for my pronunciation, Bej Akhlod, I don't know. So the, from the Western French Neolithic. Then, of course, the cases, uh, lemon slice or the uh, orange segment. So the cases, there's a clear propagation, uh, there's a clear compression. This is the archeological samples from the site of La Cancela data. And then the, here we can see the clearly, the, 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 I mean, the upper impact and then the lower impact. I wanted to document this um, refitted pieces under the Hyrux microscope because here's the impact continuously. I mean, you can see the impact all over the area here. And also actual, I mean, the directional flaking axis and then here's the hatching cone. The cases here, this is the archeological, sorry, this is, no. All right. This is the archeological sample. And then this is the experimental sample. Actually, in the first time, I really wanted to see this pattern. I don't know what, why I was so strict, but the, I wanted to see this pattern. How am I going to produce it? How am I going to see this technological pattern? And then the, what we have done is, I mean, the, this was our anvil. And then the, I was thinking, so I said, okay, so the, I'm going to use anvil as a hammerstone. What am I going to see? What am I going to receive? I mean, at the end, so I mean, the more over than five kilogram, and then the, after the two impact, Clearly, we got the same uh, techno. I mean, the same technological view. The cases, if we want to call as a lemon slice, so I mean, the, here the one lemon slice, two lemon slices. But I think these are the um, the unintentional. Oh, okay, these are the fragments due to the compression controlled propagation. So finally, I mean, the I'm finalizing so that we can say um, clearly, I mean, the evidence of the bipolar mechanic can be observed, can be seen. It was confirmed. We can confirm it with the, I mean, the systematic refit analysis, which we have, been, which we were done in last year, and then the individual debris analysis, individual lithic analysis, and also systematic experimental analysis, we can see clearly the small size of the pebbles were uh, documented in the side of Lacan side. Uh, the cases, the further question, in which sense? So yes, documented, but for what? Because extremely small size, and then the in terms of the function could be. I said in the beginning of the presentation, so that, I mean, um, the British Columbia presents a different view in terms of the splitting a pebble and bipolar. The bipolar production mainly related to splitting a pebble, and then the splitting a pebble mainly related to hydro working activity in terms of the function. I do not want to enter the uh, functionalities now, so, but the case is half of the pebble, when you split it, it presents very functional uh, and scraper morphology in terms of the scrape the membrane of the height. So the, also this uh, uh, emphasized in the, the final studies of the Brian Hayden, so the, and also the studies of the uh, Sylvia Albright, yes. And then the other one, in could be in Lacan data, we haven't done the functional analysis yet. This is one of the further future responsibility. But the near future responsibility, the learning activity. I mean, he is the son of John Peter White, so I mean, thanks a lot for him. So he shared uh, the, we made a lot of uh, personal communication with the Brian Hayden and then the uh, John Peter White in terms of the bipolar and ethnography. I mean, the case is, when a uh, local nappers was uh, flaking the uh, stones in the Lake Copiago area in the Papua New Guinea, I mean, uh, his son, the six months old, and then he started to bash the pebble. And then the, well, I cannot declare exactly this could be the children activity. However, it could be one of the uh, explanation. And then the other one is the dimension. Well, it's extremely small sized pebbles. And then the main need, the raw material of the, uh, the general raw materials are small. And then the cases here, uh, here's the, I mean, the, the orange are the archeological, I mean, the refitted dimension, the refit piece dimension. And then here's the experimental sample dimension. We try to strictly pay the attention to uh, choose the same dimension more or less. Well, mainly related to dimension and then the bipolar technique in terms of the small size element. However, so, I mean, uh, it is not the general issue. So the cases, the, 
uh, the count article level D, I mean, unit D. So the cases, uh, according to the paper showed, I mean, the cases, uh, small pebbles or the small cores with flaked, uh, the freehand direct percussion. So it's not the only solution. I mean, I cannot say anything about the dimension now because first I have to test this one. And then the, we have, I mean, we have to test this one and then the, this one. After that, we can continue with the another interpretation. However, the next uh, studies in the next future, I mean, the next future, so the next week, so the, we will conduct uh, any kind of experiment in terms of the physics of the bipolar technique. So the, thank you so much for your patience. I'm sorry, the 15 minutes, 47 seconds now. So. <laughs>